Kong kwenda kule uh, Sigor kwenda Kipreres mpaka ifike kule Longisa hiyo barabara kilomita karibu 67 nimeambia wizara hiyo barabara ijengwe ndani ya mwaka mmoja na nusu iwe imekamilika vile vile nimekubali ya kwamba tujenge barabara nyingine kutoka hapa kwa Queen kutelemka Mbutio kwenda mpaka ifike kule Songiro na zile barabara nyingine kwanza hii barabara nimepata mungwana hapa anaitwa Alvin ameniambia hii barabara inawasumbua wakati wanakuja kazini hapa so hii barabara vile vile nimeambia waziri Murko men yuko hapa na nimeambia governor hapa, well, hapa ya kwamba hii barabara ya town tujenge tujenge kilomita kumi around Bomet town ndio kila sehemu hapa Bomet town iwe na barabara ya lami Bomet iwache kuwa kama kijiji ikae kama city kama mnataka ikae namna gani si hapa iko university si hapa iko hospitali si affordable housing ndio hii si na, tuko na town kubwa hapa so we want to build this place into a great city kwa hivyo mimi nimefika hapa leo tena kwa sababu ya program ya affordable housing nyinyi mnajua mkisoma manifesto ya Kenya kwanza tulisema njia ine ya kupanga ajira ya vijana moja wapo ni hii mpango ya affordable housing hii affordable housing hii ni awamu ya kwanza peke yake nyinyi mnaona hawa vijana wako hapa hawa vijana hata sio a quarter hata sio 10% ya wale tunataka wakuja wafanye kazi hapa mimi nataka niwatangazie watu wa Bomet mbali na hii awamu ya kwanza hii sehemu yote tunataka kujenga nyumba elfu moja na mia tano. 1500 housing units are going to be built in this place na tunahitaji vijana zaidi ya elfu tatu ambao watakuwa wanafanya kazi hiyo vijana wa Bomet mko tayari mko tayari kwa hiyo kibarua mimi nimekubaliana na governor vile vile hii eh, mlima hii ya takataka hii mlima ya takataka tutatoa hapa na nimeambia watu wa prisons watusaidie shamba upande ile ingine kwa hivyo Jumatatu ifanywe survey hii e, mlima governor in the next two weeks hii mlima iwe imetoka hapa. Kwa sababu mimi nataka kuunganisha hii shamba na hiyo ya prison iko hapa nipate ekari ishirini ndio niweke affordable housing ya watu wa Bomet ni wajengee estate kubwa hapa Bomet ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba watu wa Bomet wako na mahali ya kuishi na tuache kukata mashamba tutumie mashambani kuzalisha chakula na hapa town watu waishi hapa nyinyi mnanielewa jameni that is the program we agreed with the people of Kenya when they elected me and my team into government and that is what we are going to do na mimi nataka nishukuru watu wa Bomet ma MCS wa Bomet county government ya Bomet kwa ushirika wao sisi tunashirikiana hapa shamba haimaanishi ni ya national government ama ya county government ni ya watu wa Bomet na tutaweka mipango na miradi ambayo itasaidia watu wa county ya Bomet and i want to commit that we are going to work together with the county government with the mcas with your governor with the senator with the members of parliament so that we can transform Bomet as we transform Kenya kwa hivyo mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Leo vile vile naenda hapa kuanzisha barabara. Mimi nimesema hii barabara na barabara zingine nyingi hapa Bomet Town. Kuna barabara nyingi zimeharibika hapa Bomet Town. Tunataka ku upgrade Bomet Town na, na barabara zake zote. So we are building the first 5 kilometers and another 5 kilometers a total of 10 kilometers around Bomet Town so that this Bomet begins to look like a city. Nyinyi mnanielewa? Kwa hivyo na mambo ingine na nimekubali pia soko yenu hapa we are building another seven new markets in Bomet County because we committed ourselves ya kwamba mama mboga atafanya kazi mahali kuna heshima. Na mimi nataka munisikize vizuri watu wa bodaboda na watu wa mama mboga mko hapa. Munisikie vizuri. Hii nyumba inajengwa hapa nimehakikisha ya kwamba kawaida hizi manyumba inajengwa inakuwa ya wadosi lakini nimesema 
20% ya hizi manyumba ni ya boda boda na mama mboga wa kuja waishi hapa na tumepunguza bei ile ilikuwa inalipwa ya karibu 1030 sasa utalipa 3000 na nyumba inakuwa yako kila mwezi 3000 alafu unakaa hapo unakuwa nyumba yako unakaa kama mzungu kama watu wengine sijui kama nini sasa hii nyumba 1300 ni nyumba ya mabati yenye hata hakuna maji na hata hakuna iko kwa salamu huyu mjamaa anasema iko kwa salamu so tunataka kuhamisha mama mboga kutoka huko chini na muti ya bora bora akuje waishi kwa estate ama namna gani so mujipange na hapo kila mmoja wetu we are going to build housing that suits all Kenyans of all walks of life of all categories because we want a nation that leaves nobody behind kwa hivyo tutashirikiana hivyo na mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Bomet siku ya leo tuko na mambo mengine mengi tumeanzisha program kubwa ya stima leo hapa Bomet nilikubaliana na nyinyi tutaanzisha program ya last mile connectivity kwa sababu tunataka kusongesha stima ifike kwa manyumba ya wananchi wengi leo tumeanzisha hiyo program the first 500 houses are going to be connected to electricity nia yetu ni kuunganisha watu 1014 wapya hapa Bomet tumeweka zaidi ya bilioni moja katika program ya last mile connectivity ya stima hapa Bomet na tumeweka zaidi ya bilioni 49 Kenya mzima kusukuma stima to every part of the Republic of Kenya ili tuweke stima wananchi wapate kuendesha uchumi waendeshe kilimo waendeshe mambo ya manufacturing value addition agro processing ndio tuweze kusukuma dunia yetu ya Kenya yusonge mbele watu wa Bomet tumekubaliana tutashirikiana kwa hiyo kazi tuko pamoja na mimi niliwaeleza mnipatie nafasi kidogo for the last one year nimekalia mambo because wale watu wa rege na BBI walikwamisha uchumi mpaka uchumi tukawa na madeni karibu nchi yetu inapigwa mnada lakini i am happy to announce to you hiyo maneno ya madeni pamoja na eurobond hiyo mambo sasa tumenyorosha hakuna tena hatari ya madeni katika taifa letu la Kenya na ndio sababu hiyo mnaona hata bei ya mafuta imeanza kuteremka bei ya unga imeteremka bei ya um, um, mbolea imekuja chini bei ya hiyo mambo ingine yote inateremka chini because we have a concrete plan on how we are going to change our country and transform Kenya in a manner that no citizen is going to be left behind. Watu wa Bomet tunaelewana. Tuendelee namna hiyo ama mnataka tuende kwa maandamano na maadithi ingine ya propaganda. Tuendelee namna hiyo. Tuendelee tusiendelee. Mimi naenda kufanya na mambo ya barabara. Hapa tuko na viongozi wengi. Tuko na Rigiji. Hii mnajua Rigiji? Bwana Deputy President wa Republic of Kenya huyo Rigiji yuko hapa. Pigeni makofi. Tuko hapa na governor wetu bwana Barchok mpigeni makofi. Tuko na senator wetu bwana Sigei mpigeni makofi. Tuko na mama wetu wa county mpigeni makofi. Tuko na mjumbe wetu bwana Mandasi. Bwana Mandasi yako area. Pigeni makofi. Tuko na mheshimiwa Kilel mbunge wetu pia wa town hapa mpigeni makofi. Tuko na Brighton hapo mbunge wetu wa Konoin Robokchi. Tuko na Isaac Ruto ambaye ni commissioner sasa huko eh, Nairobi mpigeni makofi. Niko na Deputy Governor bwana Rotich. Niko na bwana Yegon Unwet kutoka pale Bomet East mpigeni makofi. Niko na waziri wetu bwana Murkomen ambaye ni waziri wa barabara ndiye anasukuma hiyo kazi. Deputy Governor wa Kericho bwana Kirui, bwana Langat Ambassador Langat ambaye alikuwa senator wenu sasa nimempatia kazi ya kuwa balozi niko na bwana Sigei ambaye ni mbunge wetu wa kutoka kule Sotik niko na Wilson Sosion ambaye ni CAS wetu anangojea kazi barua nilisign imekuwa mamaali niko na bwana Yusuf Chanzu ambaye ni chairman wetu niko na bwana Sonkore mdogo huyu kijana pigeni makofi niko na Kimani Ishungwa yeye mnajua Kimani Ishungwa huyu Kimani Ishungwa ndio leader ya majority na niko na Aaron Cheruyot ambaye ni leader wa majority wa Senate yuko area na niko na Mrs. Korir huyu eh, Joyce ambaye alikuwa women rep wenu sasa ni senator wetu pigeni makofi bwana Cherorot ambaye ni mbunge wetu wa kule Kipkelion East na viongozi wengine na MCA wetu wa area 
Mgeni makofi jameni. Na speaker wetu, bwana speaker sa, huyo wako hapo, speaker wa Bomet, asante. Na Cherera ambaye ni mbunge wetu wa Senate kutoka Kwale. Kwa hivyo Bomet, nataka niseme asante sana. Tun